welcome. My name is Dr. Knot. This is To The Moon. I don't know anything about it. We're going to play it blind. We're going to experience all of the emotions. How do I know this game is emotional? I mean, just listen to the song. It's amazing. I've probably listened to the song 12 times. I mean, my Steam account says I've played the game for 12 minutes, but it's just been listening to this music. I've not even begun. And I'm already, like, sad. And, and, and I feel like we're gonna lose somebody. Like, that's, that's... I'd like to know what this song does to you. I don't know why it's moving me so much. It's so good. It's very simple, but it's good. Shall we begin? I think so. Dr. Rosaline, where were you looking, Neil? Dr. Watts, well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us! Hmm. I'll just have to say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that in your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Received equipment. That's good. Got the sucker. Let's roll. We should probably take a look at the squirrel, I think. Tisk tisk. Oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. So can we just walk? How do I... Oh yeah, there you go. Cool. Oh, what is that? Oh, arrows. <laughs> They're arrows. Wiles household ahead. Alright. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. So, let's see... Patient offline. Our character is Dr. Neil Watts, Dr. Eva Rosaline. Don't have any notes yet. With a box this heavy, what's inside has got to be important. That's our equipment. Okay. Let's go. The sign to the house points to the other way. Oh. How kind of it to exist. Alright, let's go this way. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Nice. How thoughtful of you. Alright, probably go to the house and not just wander about. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, okay, just, just birds. 
put a boulder here. Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. What? Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, yeah, let's find a branch. A branch will do. Like this branch right here. Yeah, yeah, tree branch. Alright. Alright, this better work. What was that? I... I don't even... It's some kind of... an air ball. Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. Oh, wait. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> so you've got this way. Oh, that's a fence. I thought that was a bridge. Okay. Got a bench. This, look, this place looks nice. Oh, that's where the kids were. Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. Man, verbally abusive. Verbally abusive. Don't get paid enough for this. Nobody does. Oh, you're gonna back it in? Alright. <laughs> Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Okay, we have to make sure we go there. Yes, let's go upstairs. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play with Melody. Uh, <laughs> whoever gets there first gets to play the Melody. I was thinking maybe like Melody was the dog or something, but clearly... No fair, you pushed me! 
Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Sounds like he gets the melody, too. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. I mean, wait a minute. What am I looking at here? Oh, okay. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Ready to set up? Let's set up. Yes, it'll be just a moment. Or, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes! Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Let's uh, take Dr. Rosaline. She's a little more... Uh, sympathetic? Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Yeah, okay. I think we made the good, right choice here. Right. Do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Alright, let's go. Let's go find Tommy and Sarah before we go walk around by ourselves. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. Here, take this. Remote patient monitor. Alright. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. We probably should move quickly? Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Probably take a look. Oh, here you go. 
All right. Let's talk to these two. Can we? What you want? Show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars! Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. I'll put it in there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Yeah, I'll grab it for you. I don't care. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves, too. Alright, I'll go get it. Kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go! Okay. You think the kitchen would be this way, right? But she said it's next to the stairs. This one? Like, the farthest room for the dining table? That can't be right. There's that candy cane. Alright. Probably should grab a chair or something. Can I... I, I just walk on the chair. Alright. Can I push this? How do I... What do I do? Maybe I need to turn on the light. Yeah, that didn't help at all. Hmm. Can you, like, open the... Okay, we need to go grab something. Might as well as get that candy cane for them while I'm here. Oh. Oh, here you go. Jeez. Received candy cane. Okay, let me jump down first, I guess. Terrible calories. I mean, it is a giant candy cane. So what are you gonna do? Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Okay, where do we start? I know! There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. Hmm. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. You wanna tell me where the study is, or do I have to go figure this out? Let's go figure this out. I think it's in one of these books, by chance. I don't think this is the study, is it? Pretty small study. Let's check over here. I'm guessing that's the basement. Let's check what this room is. Ah, yes. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Should probably look at all this other stuff though too if we want to get an idea of who this guy is. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume One. Why is this going off the screen? <laughs> the key to avoiding paper cuts. Okay. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the Great Wikipedia Origamia as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. But though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal, or at least wildly inaccurate. It scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper. And secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. Interesting. The Grand Origami Master is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. 
most origami turn in most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Interesting. I mean, I would read more, honestly. What else we got here? Dusk Light, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Specific? Uh, maybe another year. Okay, fine. Got the room key. He chose its hiding spot well. Yeah, because who is going to read about origami, except for me, probably. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Is it the real one? And the colors, the colors of that beautiful fabric. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. The boy's remark, which has been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. That is the real passage, I believe. Nice. Can't say, I'd love to see what the paintings are. Here. Almost stepped on the paint. Yeah, but... Okay, guess not. Wow, that's bright. Does that help us with anything? Not really. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. So one day, I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> Just a bunch of books in here. They have nothing I don't know about, though. That is a weird sentence. Alright. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Let's do it. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek here. Turn on the light before we trip over something. This is the funny door. The door is locked. Open door with room key. Let's go. Check it out. It's like a cave in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Origami master. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. It might come in handy. Oh. Let's actually take it, though. A broken music box. Alright. A rabbit folded out of paper. I know that. Can I, like, walk in here? It's just origami. Why is it so creepy? <laughs> okay, I apparently can't do much else. Can't take the broken music box, so okay, that's it. Do you see it? What do you two know all about? Wait, what do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You weren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee. Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Yeah, let's go. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. Let me quickly check over here, though. So, I guess it is a bit... like I, It's innocent enough to have origami, right? But I guess he's got a room locked. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. He locked a room that's just filled with origami, which I guess is a little bizarre, right? Boxes filled with colored paper. Okay, so yeah, we know he likes origami. But why would he want to keep the room locked? Like, what's the big deal? Chest is locked. Alright, let's go. We're gonna leave every lighthouse... Or, <laughs> light... House. We're gonna leave every light on in the room here. So... 
We have to go outside, apparently. I'm guessing we just go around, around the back. Oh, right here. There it is. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Okay, let's go around. I would like to ask the kids about the inflatable ball. That would be an inflatable rock that they had there, but... So if we go down to the street... Oh no! Oh yeah, here it is. My novelty beach ball! Someone broke it! Uh... It was stupid anyway. But... But it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had! Oh... Who could have been so cruel? Uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No! Don't do it! You will? Sure, but we kinda need to get going now. Novelty beach ball. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it anyway. Uh, we roleplay it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. Oh, a sleeping squirrel. Ooh, a squirrel. Can we get to it? Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gun. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't worry, children. I'll protect you. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, let's do the volcanic jump kick. Uh, loudest. Your, uh, time is at an end, squirrel gone. Hiya! Stop it, or we'll tell my, you animal abuse. Yeah. She'll call the cops on you. What? I was just. I wasn't gonna. Didn't you say you like role playing? That was pretty awesome. Should have be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okie. Let's just forget this happened. <laughs> that bird is like, what in the hell? That was awesome. I thought we were actually going to do a battle there. <laughs> I'm digging the comedy of this game. For how, like, uh, sad the story probably will be. It's pretty funny. Alright, we're at the lighthouse. Let's take a look at this. In memory of R. E. Wiles, or River E. Wiles. River Wiles? Was she John's wife? Dunno. Come on, the lighthouse is right here. The lighthouse is right here. And we're gonna walk right up to it, right up to the edge of the cliff. And before we go in, I'm going to say thank you for watching, and we're going to go in the lighthouse in the next episode. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the game so far, because I am digging it. It's a lot of fun. Alright, take care, and goodbye.